Okay, now Kvass is gonna try to use a black hole gun against this enormous build. <laughs> okay, it's happening. Oh, 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 it's happening. What? Um, oh, that just spawned me. What is going on? Um, I, what is going on? I have no idea what's happening at this point. What? Um, what is happening with these things? What? Um, yeah, basically, brings the building to the uh, uh, black hole gun again and, um, uh, oh, 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 what is going on? Um, wow. Hmm, what's this? What? Bruh, come on. First, I'm gonna show you to make an awesome black hole gun. Let's do it. Make sure blocks are anchored, and then, so place a block, and then place a metal block on top of it. Select with a scale tool, then press this plus icon over here, and scale it to be about this long. So over here, it should be the number 12, then the same about here. Over here, it should be 12 as well. And now, make it this tall, so it should be 12, 25, 12 for the dimensions. Now, place the seat directly on top, in the middle. So when you select the metal block below it, with the scale tool, the orb should be directly above the seat, like this. So that's how you know it's in the exact middle on top. Then select any block and place it like this, so it's halfway into the seat over here. Then select the plastic block, very important, it has to be the plastic block, and place it uh here, on the edge, over here. So like this, you see? Now select it with the scale tool, scale it down a little bit, and like that, and then like this. So it's like halfway into the metal block, halfway out. And now, scale it so that it will be like this, so that the dimension over here should be 169 and then over here should be 2 2 now select any other block i'll just go with stud why not place it here and then select the pistons flip it upside down and then place two of them like this select another block i'll go with stud again and then place one here and one here looking good so far honestly it's kind of looking like a tiny with an extra long neck for some reason okay now select any block i'm gonna go with plastic and place it here now select it with a scale tool and set the number of here to nine extend it both ways over here and over here and then you want to extend it twice like this and now it should be 20 to 20 for the dimensions now place a block over here in front of like these studs i recommend a plastic for the block you just placed over here this red one but you can use any block next select this red block with the scale tool and set the scale number over here to uh let's say 0 0.1 scale it all the way down and scale it all the way from here uh let's make it a little bit thicker so over here should be 2 0 0.1 for the y-axis and 0 0.2 for the z-axis so 2 0 0.1 0 0.2 now select the red block with the travel tool yeah we're searching up the tools now select the clone setting and set the scale number over here to uh 0 0.5 then you want to clone it all the way across this uh uh, platform over here uh, not off the edge so over here about actually no exactly here so it should be just a small gap between this and the edge then select your travel tool and select both of these red box including the new clone one set the clone setting again and clone it a little bit this way then move it back to where it just was now select the rotate setting and set scale number over here to 10 then on this green rotating axis rotate it like this and we successfully started our circle so this is going to be target over here uh actually i'm going to make it a little bit thicker damn boy he thick there we go you can make it as thick as you want though and now just continue this process to make a full circle no won't let me clone i ran out of uh plastic blocks okay well this calls for problem solving uh i think i'm gonna have to make this platform thinner uh, i think that will work no problem there we go now we have 94 new plastic blocks that i can use all right got it well, let's continue okay we're very close to done uh when you get to this part you can just basically clone one of them or actually two of them well, let me do two of them this side and yeah there we go oh uh it's a little bit off here for some reason let me make the move setting 0.25 and this one as well there we go a perfect circle i mean i guess you can make this just a red square as a target but come on the circle just like much better looks cooler now you can do kvaza did by the way kvaza made this amazing amazing thing so huge huge credit and thanks to him basically kvaza made like a target over here with like two circles and then he had like light bulbs around here you can do that uh it's gonna take a little bit of time so i'm not gonna do that ain't nobody got time for that i'm just gonna add an name block in the middle so like that there we go like that like that like that and there we go all right now go over here and select the plastic block again and then we want to place four of them over here one two three and four paint them red and there should be a small gap here about a buck and a half big so that and then four bucks here by the way join our new awesome friendly discord server in the top of the description soon we'll be doing frequent events like game nights where you can even play with me sometimes movie nights and more there's also my very own vip available server in the discord as well as updates and sneak peeks in my future videos you don't want to miss out on all that do you join now in the description below then place another plastic block here and place another one on top of that. Now place another plastic block right beneath uh, where those were. And you want to make this plastic block four bucks big. So it would be 282 for the dimensions over here. Now you can remove these red blocks. They don't really matter. Place the plastic block here. Select the scale tool again. And set the scale number here to 0 0.1 this time. Scale all the way down. Now select it again with the scale tool. Set the scale number here to 1 and scale like this. Now select the piston block, place it over here. Then place another one on top. Now select the plastic block yet again. 
and place three of them over here like that but select this third block and scale it to be a half block so two blocks and then a half block now select the pistons again rotate them to be like this and place 15 of them one two three four and 15. All right, it's 15. Should be exactly 15. There's a reason it's that. Also, don't change the length of this uh, plastic block because it could really mess things up. Everything's like exact. Anyway, okay, now select the plastic block again and place on the piston over here. Select the scale tool and set the scale number here to, uh, I think 0.2, I guess. Why not? Let's scale it like that. And then scale it down a little bit. So it should be 2, 2.8, 0 0.2, like that. Then place the plastic block over here and scale it like that. There we go. So it's connected to this uh, plastic block. And now scale it to be like this. So it should be a little bit past this first piston over here. And the dimension should be 2, 0 0.2, 12. Another plastic block over here. We scale it like that. And we make this one two blocks big. So it should be 2, 4, 0 0.2 for the dimensions. Now another plastic block over here and scale like that. And this block make, I think, five blocks uh, long. So like this. So it should be 10 over here. Doesn't matter that much, but yeah, it should be about this long. Now place the wheel over here. Then place the plastic block on the wheel in the middle of it. So over there, as you can see, select the plastic block that you just place on the wheel scale it all the way down and then scale a little bit into the wheel to so scale number to one and then scale like this a little bit so it should be eight 0 0.62 now it set the scale number to 0.25 so 0 0.25 scale it down so it shouldn't be above the wheel anymore as you can see and then scale it left a little bit and right a little bit make sure it's even on both sides that's kind of important and then over here it should be 8.5 0 0.6 and 2 now place a magnet on both sides like this, rotate it to face outwards like that, and same over here. And now select this, this magnet, and this block in the middle, so three blocks in total. Why does it say four blocks are selected? What? Oh, registers this as two blocks apparently. Uh, okay. So yeah, these three blocks, we're gonna do something similar that we did over there for the target. Clone it this way, and then move it back. Then select the rotate setting, but make sure the scale number over here is five. Now rotate it five degrees, and select the uh, other three parts. Clone again, move back, and rotate this time 10 degrees and now continue this until you have a full circle to make a full circle it requires 75 magnets if you don't have enough just use a buildable dupe glitch if you don't know what that is search up on youtube buildable duplication glitch okay let's start off with red now let's look more and let's make the hue a little bit less let's make it 98 let's paint the next one the new color and then let's make it 96 then let's make it 94 and let's continue this all right we're done we ended up changing the hue by one instead of two uh sometimes we made it like 1.5 like sometimes we change the hue by one sometimes two if you know what i mean anyway okay now let's make the actual gun all right there's my gun i think it looks pretty cool so far all right, now we're gonna do some binding and delay blocks. So select the delay block and place six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now let's paint them different colors. So it gets us confusing when we bind them. I'll paint this one green, this one red, this one black, this one yellow. Actually, I'll paint this one dark red, this one dark green, and let's paint this last one uh, white. So paint yours like this. All right, first for the binding, find these two pistons over here to this first uh, delay block. Just like this. Now, actually, let's place two switches. Uh, I'm gonna place it in the gun, but you can place it over here next to the seats if you want. Here's, let me turn the match rotation, set the rotate setting to 90 degrees, and... Oh, that binds to all delay blocks. Um, that should not happen. So let me place another one next to it so that it won't bind to anything. There we go, not bind to anything. And let's just move this down like this. And let's place the actual trigger uh, switch over here. Oh, that doesn't bind it to too many things. Um, what have I done? Okay, that's gonna happen sometimes. So let's place a switch above that. Okay, that's binded to just one piston, I think. There we go, not binding to anything. And now we'll just move this down. There we go, we got two switches on the gun. Both are not binding to anything. Um, So let me unbind this switch. There we go, two switches on the gun. Both are not binding to anything. Okay, actually this switch over here should be binded to this first uh, delay block do that all right now this trigger switch let's bind that to these two pistons over here so i bind it to the bottom one and now the top piston bind to that as well there we go let's bind it to both of these pistons by the way we have to change the delay times for these delay blocks so this one would be well one so we don't have to change that this one would also be one however this one we need to set the delay time to three now this dark red one we have to set the delay time to five this dark green one we have to set to 0.5 and the last one, the white one, we have to set it to 0 
And, oh, well, uh, I was gonna say we have to bind the delay blocks to each other from left to right, but they already bind it, so yeah. Now, we have to bind all these magnets in the circle over here to this red delay block and this dark red delay block. It should take less time than you think. Just zoom in here in the center with the bind tool and hold shift in your computer and just select them while moving your cursor a little bit like this. And do that until you have all the magnets in the circle selected. Once selected, take a look around on the outside. Make sure that you didn't miss a single one. Oh, I did over here, so I gotta select that. Uh, all looks good. Now, click this red delay block and all the magnets should bind to this red delay block. Now do the exact same for this one. Okay, let's take a look around. Um, all looks good. Let's bind it to this dark red one. All right, now we're almost done binding. Now select all these uh, black pistons over here and click this black delay block. Make sure it's this one and not this one. Next, bind these green pistons over here. Also to this dark green delay block. So they should be binded to this green delay block and this dark green delay block, both of them. Now select all the 15 pistons once again and bind them to this white delay block. All right, before we finish this thing off, first we gotta move this target a little bit up, otherwise it's gonna be underground, and we don't want that, obviously. Let's move this up uh, a whole block, like that. There we go. And then we'll just do this, start a block there, and one there. And you also have to bind this wheel over here in the middle of all the circle of magnets. You have to bind that to the second delay block, the bright red one and you have to bind it again to the dark red block so the second one and the fourth one now zoom all the way out and select the screwdriver tool and go from here and select everything except the actual target at the end zoom in the target and you can select the square in fact you should select the square and the set box over here and the pistons there we go you see make sure all these parts are selected including the square the target should not be selected though so like that anyway now the only things we should deselect are the seat the actual gun and the switches on the gun and that's it really turn collision off make transparency 100 percent set piston speed to 10 and piston length to 10.5 set the wheel torque to max and set the wheel speed to 30. there we go now save and very important reload that way everything like combines fully now let's set it up oh also important make this target over here uncollidable so just like that with screwdriver tool and make it uncollidable finally we're nearing the end of the tutorial i've literally been recording for five hours not even kidding all right now every time you want to set up the black hole gun first get in the seat of course place the cake on the seat like that make sure it's on the seat and in your avatar then jump on anchor roll and there should be a block beneath this big block. So this one over here here let me make it visible this one remove that here let's make this cake and the seat transparent now, if you're in a public server, you can find a big build that's an anchored and then mess around with that. Or you can get a friend in the game and have that friend load in a real, really cool unanchored build like this awesome huge airplane. Whoa, it's getting a little bit too close. Okay, okay, let's get the target below the plane. The target's over there. There we go. You ready, guys? So, before you shoot, very important, make sure to anchor this big block over here. And when ready, press this switch and watch an awesome rainbow ring appear. And watch it move the build on the target. Um, well, this airplane's a little bit too big, so it didn't move it that much. But this awesome black hole gun is reusable. So, you can just unanchor this big block and try it again. And now, let's anchor this and... Oh, by the way, if you're wondering what this switch does, it just makes the target go down, as you just see. So, click it again, target goes up, click it again, and it goes back down. Anyway, well, let's click the switch and watch the magic happen. Whee! There we go, just flying the big airplane to, uh, I think it's a black team. Yep, it is. If you activate the black hole gun without actually anchoring this big block, this happens. Watch. So you click this without anchoring it and uh, it, it makes you fly everywhere. I'm not, I'm not even doing anything and, um, um, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more awesome tutorials like this and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.